Hello guys, Jack95 Gaming here and today we are here with some more Southampton career mode and we are kicking things off with a massive fixture at Old Trafford against Manchester United. So we get into this game at Old Trafford, you know it's going to be very hard, not many teams come here and get a result and we are sitting in second place with a game in hand of City so a win will put us back top and uh, United line up with the team you see before you have Vidic, Ferdinand, Elva, Fellaini, Fletcher, Valencia and the old boy Giggs and Rooney making it up but anyway Osvaldo um, gives away a free kick very early on and guys tell me your opinion does this look like a free kick I think it was very harshly given Look at that, I don't think that was a, a, a bookable offence, it might have been a foul. But anyway guys, we do win the free kick deep in our half and Wanyama breaks in the 15th minute now. Finds Lallana into Osvaldo, Vidic makes a very, very silly mistake. And you don't expect that from the vet when Osvaldo pounces on it and he ain't making no mistake. We go 1-0 up in the 17th minute at Old Trafford and what a big result this could be. You know, it's a big goal and if we can just hang on there, you know, we could see ourselves go back to the top of the table. But, let's see how the game pans out. Into the 24th minute now. United break with Valencia. Great ball to Giggs and the veteran scores. And our lead didn't even last more than 10 minutes. And Ryan Giggs scores to put United back on terms. And it was a cool finish, you know. And if he, if he can still finish like that, he shouldn't retire. You know, because there was a report in the game saying he was thinking about retiring. But... Anyway, guys, that was all the action for the first half. It was a very pretty dull game, you know. And as you can see, guys, coming up in the half-time stats, it was a pretty even game. Three shots apiece, you know. Basically, near enough the same possession. United just edging it. But moving on into the second half now, we're in the second, um, 60th minute. Here comes Rooney with a, a good ball in there, but uh, can't be controlled by Valencia. And um, United waste that chance, but they make another substitution here. And they bring on Michael Carrick for Ryan Giggs, and then Nani comes on for Young, and we bring on Rodriguez for Osvaldo, the goal scorer. Free kick here for United in the 64th minute, poorly taken by Valencia, and um, that'll be his last bit of the game. As Van Persie, it does come on, and now I was worried, but we do bring on Belek and Cook when it for when you and Lambert. This game was very boring. And uh, this is the only real chance in the 85th minute here with Belek. And he makes a hash of it. And, you know, he's still young, but he should have done better than that. And I'm not very uh, fond of Belek at the moment. He needs to uh, change my opinion. But, guys, you can see is the full time stats. The game did finish 1-1. And it was a pretty fair game. Four shots apiece. But uh, you know, they did edge the possession. Now going on to our second game of the episode. We're still unbeaten. And um, we're coming up against Swansea City here. And we decided to put the same line out and see if we can get a uh, result. So anyway, guys, we are at St. Mary's against Swansea City. And Swansea City, obviously, a great side winning the Capital One Cup last season. And that's obviously what we want to do this season. But we're going to see. We don't get the Swansea line up here. But we do see that we are sitting fourth now with a game in hand. And a win would put us top again. The, the table is so tight this season. But moving into the second minute, Williams picks up the ball. Finds it to Nathan Dyer, flicks it into Wilfred Boney, and we go 1 0 down three minutes in, and that is not the start we wanted. You know, giving Boney that much, or Bonnie that much space, you know, you know, it's asking for trouble. Great ball from Dyer. Our defence just gets split open, and Boney just slots it into the bottom corner. Moving now on to the 20th minute, guys. Boney again making, a, making some. Uh, causing some trouble for us, and great defending from us to stop that. Nathaniel Klein breaks in the 26th minute and a great goalkeeping for their goalkeeper. I don't have Vorm in goal anymore because they did sell him to Arsenal in my career mode. Moving into the 33rd minute now. Great ball from Boney into Nathan Dyer. Them two link up again to cause us uh, some more problems and we're now 2-0 down. And that is uh, something we did not want to see. You know, our, unbe our unbeaten streak is at risk now and we need to uh, basically get our heads down and just concentrate on the game now. We can't let um, our heads drop. But uh, Nathan Dyer, cool finish there. And the Swans find themselves 2-0 up away from home. But anyway, guys, we do break with Wanyama here. And he should finish this now. Nah. Look at this, guys. Great ball from Osvaldo. You know, we do split uh, their defence apart. And it just curves away from the goal. But anyway, guys, that um, that is all the action for the second half. 
and Swansea go in 2 0 up. Anyway, guys, we do break in the 52nd minute. Lallana with a great ball in there. Lambert can't get there. Schneiderling uh, passes it to Gaston Ramirez and another good save. Ratledge comes on for Swansea. We'll go into the 64th minute now. Ramirez looks for Ricky Lambert. Uses his great strength there. And can he finish? No, he can't. Where you would have put a house on Ricky Lambert scoring there. He's always been on such good form. He just could not finish. You know, that's unlucky. But we're breaking to the 74th minute. Our time is pushing. We need a goal. Gaston Ramirez breaks. Cuts inside. And what a brilliant goal. That's his sixth league goal of the season. And he is proven to be a great outstanding player for us. You know, he takes the ball down beautifully here. Puts it outside the, um, cuts inside there, outside the defender's reach and just blasts it into the bottom corner. We make a triple substitution now, guys. Rodriguez, Menga and Ward Price on. And let's see if we can get the game back. This is our last chance of the game. 89th minute, the ball falls to Shaw. And uh, the young lad just puts it straight over the bar. Not a player you did want on that. And we do get delivered our first defeat of the season. And I am disappointed. But if you look at the stats there, Swansea did deserve it. Now we're moving to our third game and seeing if we can um, improve now and come bounce back from our defeat against Swansea with a match against Fulham at home at St. Mary's again. So, um, yeah, guys, we need to um, come back. And we, I didn't make no changes. And we're going to see the league table now here, see if we did drop down. And we do drop down into fifth place now. We can still get with another win go back top, but uh, here's Fulham's lineup. You know, got a lot of uh, experience in that side, and that is a side that will probably keep them up. You know, with Risa, Sidwell, Parker, Tarapt, Ruiz, and Bent. But anyway, guys, we need a win here, and Bent breaks in the 13th, 14th minute and hits the post, and we get a lucky, lucky escape there. But we need to. Uh, Tighten up on our defence, you know, because we can't have Fulham doing this to us. 20th minute now, and Ruiz takes the ball down beautifully. Looks at, looks for the bent ball. Bent gets a great save from Costil, but it falls to Tarapt. And he squeezes the ball in, and we find ourselves 1-0 down in the 22nd minute. Something we did not want to happen. And uh, with the basic morale that the team is at the moment, that's going to start to put heads down. And we don't need that. But Darren Bent, you know, great save from Costa at first. And you know what? On another day, Coyote could have uh, got himself in front of that, and it could still be 0-0. But um, that is half time, guys. Nothing really happens, and Fulham go in with a 1-0 lead. But we do try and press in the 49th minute straight from kickoff. We get the ball here with Luke Shaw. He puts a great ball in, looking for Lalana, and he should have finished that. But you know what? On another day, he would have. Or if that was Ricky Lambert or Osvaldo, that would have been a goal. But you know what, guys? We can't be um, dwelling on those chances. We need to uh, get, get our heads up and go and attack for another goal. But anyway, Berbatov there with a shot, but it was offside. Great save from Costil. Now, 90th minute, Fulham do break now. You know, nothing really happens this game. You know, it wasn't, It was pretty much a middle of the park game. Tarat breaks here. Poor defender from Southampton, if I'm being honest. And that is 2-0, and that's going to deliver our second defeat of the game. And you know what, guys? One point from our three games now. In these three games this episode, it's turned out to be a poor run of form from us. But anyway, guys, this has been Jack95 Gamer. Stay tuned for a career mode um, episode 7 tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.